Hi, my name's Susanna, and these are seven big shows to look out for in the next few months. From Sherlock to Doctor Strange, we're used to seeing Benedict Cumberbatch portraying extraordinary characters, but in this new one-off drama, he'll play a very ordinary man facing the unthinkable. Stephen Lewis is a children's author, struggling to find purpose in his life two years after his daughter's disappearance, a role Cumberbatch has described as a million miles away from all the stuff I've done. The drama, based on Ian McEwan's 1987 novel, has been made by Cumberbatch's own company, Sunny March, and sees the Sherlock actor wearing his producer's hat for the very first time. Get ready for your world to be turned upside down once again when Stranger Things debuts its hotly anticipated second series on the 27th of October. The new episodes are firmly under lock and key for now, but we do know that fan favourite Eleven will be back, as will Mike, Lucas and Dustin, alongside a host of new characters. And while Shannon Purser won't be returning, we have been promised justice for her character Barb. From snow to fire, Kit Harrington is back on screens cooking up one of the biggest events in British history. Guy Fawkes may have been the figurehead of the 1605 gunpowder plot, but Robert Catesby was its driving force. This three-part series sees the Game of Thrones star play the mastermind behind the scheme to blow up the Houses of Parliament, alongside Liv Tyler and Mark Gatiss, with Tom Cullen playing the infamous Guy Fawkes. Expect fireworks. And I, Robert Catesby, will blow the king and all his men. Channel 4 may have lost Black Mirror to Netflix, but they're attempting to fill the gap with new sci-fi anthology series Electric Dreams, based on a series of short stories by Philip K. Dick. They've enlisted a seriously star-studded cast to do the job, with Brian Cranston, Richard Madden, Anna Paquin, Liam Cunningham and Timothy Spall, just a handful of the names popping up across the 10 episodes. Will Electric Dreams light up our screens? We'll have to wait and see. Her Majesty Claire Foy is back on screens later this year with a brand new series of The Crown on Netflix. Series 2 will pick up where we left off, putting the royal marriage under scrutiny by honing in on Matt Smith's Prince Philip, as well as introducing Matthew Good as a dashing new love interest for Princess Margaret. Even JFK himself is making an appearance, played by Dexter's Michael C. Hall. This is expected to be the last series of Foy and Smith before the pair abdicate, as the drama moves into the latter stages of the Queen's life. There are some of us who are there for you no matter what. Corporal Georgie Lane is back, and so is Elvis Hart. On the surface, this series is all about the army, as Michelle Keegan's medic finds herself in Nepal on a relief mission following a devastating earthquake. But as ever, this action-packed tale is underpinned by a love story. Can Elvis finally win Georgie back for good? Or will newcomer Private Maisie Richards, played by Shalom Brune Franklin, get in the way? Expect some light relief from the returning two section. Ten years before Captain Kirk and the Enterprise, there was Discovery. That's the premise for the first Star Trek TV series in over a decade, promising new ships, new missions, and a brand new female lead, who rather confusingly is called Michael. Made by US network CBS, Star Trek Discovery beams down to the UK on Netflix this September. For coverage of all these dramas, plus all the latest TV and entertainment news and views all day, every day, visit radiotimes.com.